exit from our lounge? Now we'll take you to the capital of tango, Buenos Aires. Here, young filmmakers from all over Latin America congregated at the Talent Campus, a workshop initiated by the Berlin International Film Festival. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. Alexandra Indaco and Emiliano Romero, two young filmmakers, both live here. She was born in the Netherlands. He's from an Argentinian family of artists. I was born in Buenos Aires. Fortunately, I can travel to festivals all over the world, but Buenos Aires is the place for me. We met Emiliano and Alexandra at the Buenos Aires Talent Campus. This is a four-day film school, the first of its kind in Latin America, where 60 young filmmakers get to meet seasoned professionals. It's being held in cooperation with the Berlin International Film Festival, and it's modeled on the Berlinale Talent Campus. Peter Schumann traveled here from Berlin. He's impressed with how Argentina supports film production. There's a great deal of government funding. There's an extraordinarily progressive law, the most advanced in Latin America, that diverts money to support a training system. And that's why Argentina is at present the country with the largest and most important film industry in Latin America and the greatest potential as far as new talent is concerned. More than 60 films were produced in Argentina last year, more than in any other Latin American country. <laughs> Buenos Aires is becoming fashionable. Four years ago, it was still at rock bottom as a result of the country's economic crisis. Now, tourism is booming. Argentinians are proud of their capital and their culture. You have to look closely to see traces of suffering in Buenos Aires. A heightened police presence is the order of the day. The graffiti on Plaza Mayor bears witness to wounds from earlier times of military dictatorship and government corruption. In his films, Emiliano is aiming at his fellow Argentinian's subconscious. He wants them to become more self-aware. His short fictional film, El Topo, the Mole, was his final project at film school. It tells the story of a man who lives in a crawl space beneath people's houses and who's forever trying to get a glimpse of the world above him. But the mole man comes too late, a pessimistic ending. Hay una mirada media así como de she gives him this look, which pretty much says, you'll never manage to watch us. For me, that shows exactly what's happening to us Argentinians. We all have our dreams, and we all try to attain them, and we'll go to great lengths to do so. But there's always someone higher up who keeps us from getting there, who makes us stop. The talent campus in Buenos Aires comes to an end. It's been an intense four days for Alexandra and Emiliano, but it's been all too short. Latin America's first talent campus was at least a beginning. Emiliano and Alexandra are on their way again, looking for new stories in Buenos Aires. Una música brutal.